Okay, I'm just hand holding the uh, cannon. Just got done with the uh, video on the night Nikon. Anyway, there's my uh, setup. It's a, a clip-on magnifying glass, which helps a lot. And, uh, oh my goodness. It's just too light out to be able to see this well. This, let me do this. Anyway, you use this, you put it on the uh, camera monitor, and then you'll look through this. I don't have it on, but it has, uh, I think, 2 or 3x magnification through it. It's still harder for me to see, but it does help block out the sunlight. Of course, in my hand is where I've got my uh, solar filter. And see, I do have gloves on. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Now on top of that, I forget what this is. I think it's a 5X magnifying and this is a 10X. <laughs> and I have another one in my other pocket. This is a copper, I think it's around it. It's cold out. Um, January 17th, 2018. It's probably a quarter to 12 now. Facing south. Whew. Bye. Well, hello there. The blanket has lifted. <laughs> For days on end, we have a blanket up over our sky. And there was one this morning too, so I was a little bit surprised to uh, see some blue come up. So I ran out here, and I really can't see too well. It's just too bright, so I can't even adjust the camera to uh, dial in the settings better, but because I can't see. <laughs> but there is supposed to be a uh, tiny sunspot there somewhere. Maybe in the middle, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure that might be the first one of the year. So we'll see if it picks it up. Or if anything else goes on. <laughs> up there. But yeah. Boy, I wish I could see. I have a little uh, hood on the camera monitor and I have a magnifying glass and I still can't see anything out here. This place doesn't help with all this uh, white snow everywhere. But, okay, that should be good for now. Let's take a look at the sky again. There we go. Well, the moon's supposed to be to the uh, left pretty close to the sun. Of course, you can't see it. I think it said 0.3% uh, illuminated, but just about everything is uh, over to the right, like uh, it'll be Jupiter and Mars, uh, Saturn and Mercury. Venus, I believe, has uh, come around from the back side of the sun and is over to the left over where the uh, moon would be. Uranus and Neptune over to the left. And there's not a whole lot in our uh, nighttime sky except of planets. 
that can be seen. So, but yeah, up here in northeastern Ohio, it's about uh, 15 degrees above zero. But it's quite nippy. <laughs> and we're going to keep this real short. In case anything wants to come give us a visit, uh, well, check it out when we go in. <laughs> hey, you never know. Strange stuff in our skies. Ooh, doggy. Oh, and hey, for people who may have a clear sky, don't forget in two weeks it'll be uh, on Wednesday, January 31st, is when we're going to have that uh, rare event <laughs> of a uh, full moon, super moon, blue moon, blood moon. <laughs> uh, I believe it's going to be the first time, they say, in about 150 years that we'll see it. And what it is, it'll be the, the super moon, it's a full moon, it's going to be closest to Earth, so it'll make it look uh, quite large. And uh, the blue moon means it's the, uh, the rare event, you know, you heard the phrase, once in a blue moon. That's where you have two full moons in uh, one month. There's another one coming up in March, too. And, uh, and then the blood moon, that's going to be uh, a total lunar eclipse. On that day also on that Wednesday January 31st but it's going to be a total eclipse uh, for the western part of North America and uh, Asia Australia New Zealand and the uh, eastern hemisphere so it'll just be a partial solar or I'm sorry it'll just be a partial uh, lunar eclipse for the rest of the uh, United States and the Americas and it doesn't look like you'll be able to see it over in the UK and parts of Europe so still I hope y'all get the chance to get out there and see it oh yeah and then uh, last night or early this morning and I'm sure most of you have already heard about the uh, meteor they're calling it a likely meteor that uh, was incoming from uh, up in Michigan seen up in Canada in surrounding states. Some people in Ohio saw it and uh, there was a big flash and a big kaboom too, which apparently set off a 2.0 earthquake. Hmm. Does that sound a bit uh, fishy? But it's just been one report after another. How many uh, debris trails are we going through? So many asteroids and Meteors, meteorites, a lot of fireballs up in the sky. But was it really one? Who knows? I can't say for sure. I've seen a few of the flashes, but that uh, that earthquake, it kind of gives you pause. It's almost like uh, it was something shot down. I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there. But anyway. I'm going to wish you all a wonderful day and have a safe one. Keep your helmets on. <laughs> Alrighty, take care now. Bye.